and welcome back to Now TV. I'm your gracious host, Jennifer Cooley. I am going to um, recite three different pieces from the book, A Special Something, that is not available for viewers to read on Facebook. Um, follow along for those of you that do have a copy of A Special Something. Um, and for the rest of you, I guess if you uh, want more of my stuff, you're going to have to order a copy of the book uh, for yourself. Okay, so turn to page 35 and here we go. Morning dew. A drop of morning dew, tastes like honey, is what I knew it should have been with you. From just that gentle, smooth, soft, subtle, shared in that untested kiss never finished with you. I love that piece. Short and to the point. Next one, page 24, Child in the Street. I see a child in the street, I see the smile that lives there, her sunny yellow hair, a playful item in the cart. It's a beautiful thing to see a child so smart, a future so full of potential, unlimited life that lives there, the happiness of the child's disposition, with the love of two parents that listen, a blessing and privilege her own, a family and a home, not having to starve from what she is missing, her cup will one day be full, she'll be a star that shines around others that her results will benefit well from, for the helpful person she becomes, proudly loved by someone who holds her hand really well. Never break the spell, all things turn out well. As the cart turns the corner, my smile disappears. I wish my daughter was here. I wrote that one several years back when uh, my first daughter was much younger than she is now, trying to fight for the right to uh, I have my life in British Columbia, my children with me there. So far it hasn't worked, but alas, where there's a will, there's a way. Next, page 21, then whose? If it's not his touches that belong to me, if it's not his touches that can fix what I need to feel, then whose is it? As I lie here tonight trying to take back what's mine, as I see, there are not many options in the sea of immorality that lives out there. Where am I supposed to turn to find a gentle hand, a man whose mind does not destroy what I want? To enjoy in the same pleasures, recognizing all the treasures. How will I be saved from going out of my mind for keeping in all these years the standards of my virtues? I understand the fight has to come. What I see is real. But does my body have to pay the price this way? Not one night do I get an answer to what it needs. If it's not his hands that can fix it, then whose? This one's actually one of my favorite pieces, and it's a, a combination of different people um, put together to, to accent the, 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 the idea of one person. Um, I love that piece. Anyways, just uh, keep tuning back to Facebook. Um, to uh, keep up on my videos to see what's happening now uh, in the life and times of Jennifer Cooley. All right. Thanks for checking in, guys. And um, I'll be back up with some more stuff soon. Bye.